So uh, my name's Brian. Uh, I work at Microsoft on the Surface team, and uh, I have a cool job to be able to travel around the country and show people what Surface is all about. Uh, we're really excited about Surface because this is a product that Microsoft kind of dreamt and built and has um, released all on our own. And um, it's a, we think, one of the best stages for Windows. And today I'll show you a little bit actually of Windows 8.1, which is in like a customer preview right now. Um, so um, you'll get a kind of a flavor of what you might be able to expect when 8.1 is available for, for everyone. But one of the things that, we really, that we're really excited about with Surface uh, is just that it, sh it kind of covers the soft middle between your tablet and your computer, your typical laptop. Uh, more and more people are carrying around a tablet and a laptop, but uh, there are certain things that you have to do. You have to put your tablet down in order to pick up your computer to get work done. And so um, we talk about Surface RT, uh, which is this model here, in the context of a, a tablet that has laptop capabilities. And what that means for us is you've got a keyboard that you can click in here called Touch Cover, um, which is really a really cool keyboard. And we also have one called Type Cover, which um, has actually mechanical moving keys on it, if you prefer that as well. We've also got, um, on the edge here, uh, a full-size USB 3.0 port, which is great for plugging in thumb drives, a mouse, uh, all sorts of different things, as well as um, uh, a, a video port here so you can plug it into a larger display. This down here is your uh, charging port for plugging it into the wall. And then we've also got this really nice kickstand that's uh, there when you need it and gone when you don't. Um, so you can pull this thing apart and use it like your traditional tablet, or you could pull out the kickstand, click in your touch cover, and be using it like a more, like more traditionally like a laptop. Um, and finally, behind the kickstand here, I'll just tell you about it, is a micro SD card slot. So another great option for folks that are looking to either add additional memory to their device or transfer files from a camera or some other computer. We make it really easy to do that as well. Um, Windows, like or Surface, like I said, uh, is uh, a great stage for Windows 8, and this is actually kind of a little teaser of Windows 8.1. And you'll see here, this, this is our start screen for Windows, and it's meant to give you a very personal uh, and dynamic experience for your PC or your tablet. And the idea here is, if you might look familiar, if you're, fami if you're familiar with, win with Windows Phone, is that you can pin applications and people and apps um, that display information that's most relevant to you. And everyone's, everyone's start screen should look different because everyone has different interests. So you'll see for me, um, this is all about my getting work done place right here. I've labeled this group business, uh, but I've also got weather that's displayed here and a bunch of uh, my browser, but also some games and music and stuff well, because for me, uh, getting work done also means having a little fun while I'm doing it. Um, but if you come over here, this is kind of like my news area. Uh, so you'll see you'll get headline new headlines from uh, breaking news in, a, in the news app, but I've also got my sports app pinned here, my food and my travel and my stocks. So um, these are meant to be really high fidelity experiences. These are applications that Microsoft has built with the help of um, being powered by Bing. And so you'll see here that you, you get this kind of nice widescreen display. Um, and what's really great about the news app in particular is that you can add news sources that are most relevant to you as well. So there'll be a couple that are baked, there'll be a, you know, a handful baked in like the New York Times and ABC News and Wall Street Journal. But you'll see here at the top, I've also added uh, a local website from Arizona and also two of the paper, um, news sources in Seattle as well, my hometown. But once you plug those in, um, those sources show up just as if they were a curated piece of content built into this app from the start. So, that's also the case a lot with a lot of the other applications that you'll find um, with Windows 8 as well. What's also really cool with 8.1, and one of the things that we changed a little bit, is that it's still really easy to get to your applications, um, your total list of applications on the device. So um, with Windows 8, when you downloaded an application from the Windows Store, um, it automatically showed up on here on your start screen. It's a little bit different with 8.1 in that only the apps that you, f that you consciously pin to the start screen show up on the start screen. But you always have just one flip up and you can see all the applications that are installed on your machine. So it makes it very easy to, to manage your applications and find the things that you're looking for. But let's say I wanted to pin something that wasn't on there right now, like you can see here I just downloaded Music Maker Jam recently. Um, you just press and hold, you'll get a little box down here that says you can pin to start or uninstall it if you wanted to. I'm going to say pin to start. And now if I go over here, you'll see I have Music Maker Jam pinned to the start screen. So that I'm going to move that over here because that's part of, again, I, I'll call it getting work done. Put this guy over here. Uh, and now it's in my business section. 
So really easy to customize your search screen in a way that makes the most sense for you. <clears throat> but you also see what's really cool about Windows, uh, or um, Surface RT in particular, um, is that you have Office built in. So for 350 bucks, um, you can get a Surface RT with 32 gigs of storage, and it comes with Office, in addition to all those ports and the ability to click in a keyboard as well. So again, if you're a student, um, if you're someone whose job, like me, really just involves um, email, web, some apps, uh, then this is a great value and a really good uh, um, gift either for uh, someone going back to school or for like a busy dad, let's say, for the holidays or uh, uh, um, and such. So really cool, really cool experience and uh, something we're really excited about as well. Um, but you also see, uh, even within sports, I was able to pin um, the Mariners and the Seahawks tiles here because that way I can always keep up to date with what's going on with those guys. One of the other th cool things, because this tablet runs Windows 8, which is a little bit different than you might find on other tablets, is that you can actually have a variety of different users on your machine. So if you're someone that's sharing this device with either friends or uh, family members, everyone can have their own account set up. And you'll, I only have two on here right now. Ad I have an admin and then myself. But you could add a whole host of accounts here so that everyone's start screen looks completely unique for them. Uh, and what that also helps, do, helps is to protect your information from being shared across other people as they use your device. And if you're setting it up as a child account, you can manage that account as a child account so you can control the websites that they go to and, and what they're actually doing on that machine so you know that they can be um, uh, using the computer in a safe way, which is really cool. Uh, one of the other things that I wanted to point out that's uh, a fairly recent addition that has me really fire fired up is the addition of Halo Sp Spartan Assault. So this is a new game for, um, for Windows, uh, exclusive on Windows and on Windows Phone. Um, and it's a full fidelity Halo experience in kind of a top-down view. So not your traditional first-person shooter, but a top-down view of Halo, but still really cool uh, and really immersive. And all of the stuff that you do on your, within the, this game uh, accrue to your your Halo's credit, you know, and street cred uh, on your console and the other places where you're playing Halo, which is really awesome. Um, one of the other enhancements that's been made in Windows 8.1 is um, bringing up some of the typical settings that you would change with your machine um, into more of the modern experience, the modern touch experience. So the way you change your settings, you swipe in here from the right, um, press settings. And then down here, you've got kind of your most used settings. So you know, I can lock my screen, change the screen brightness. I can adjust my volume. I can also connect to a Wi-Fi network. But if you want to dip deep, dig in even deeper, you can go here in here. And this is a change with 8.1. And that a lot of these settings now are right up on the in, the in kind of in the modern mode, as opposed to taking you into the into the desktop mode, which makes it a little bit easier um, when you're on a machine like a, uh, on a device like Surface to to manipulate your settings and make them. Um, work just perfect for you. One of the things that we've changed in particular, um, you'll see here I've got a background with a little goldfish um, that we changed here. And um, some people, and then when you go into the desktop mode, you'll see I've kind of got a different background going on as well. One of the things that people said that they would like would be to have kind of the same background across both the desktop and the more modern uh, start screen experience just in a, as a way to create a little bit more continuity between the two. And so I can show you really quick how you would do that. When you're in desktop mode here, you can just press and hold on the, uh, the taskbar down here. Um, and I'll go to properties. And then once you're in your kind of taskbar and, na and navigation properties um, dashboard here, you can go to the navigation tile uh, tab. And then down here you'll see show my uh, desktop background on start. So I'll just check that box. Say OK. And now you'll see when I go between start and desktop mode, the background stays the same. So it's almost like the start screen is now just kind of hovering over your traditional um, background that you would normally have on, on Windows, which is, which is really cool as well. And then you also notice when we're back in desktop mode, um, we've added one more way to get to that modern start experience here in the le lower left-hand corner and added a start button down here. And so that will take you back and forth between the start screen as well. But you can also get there through um, the button here on the front of your surface if you don't have your touch cover connected or not. You can also use the, the key on your keyboard. And then finally, there's one other place to get there right here. So regardless of how you're using the device or, or um, 
how, uh, if you're, you know, th thumbs on, w walking around using it as a tablet, or if you're set up more on kind of a traditional laptop experience, it's really easy to get to the start screen experience um, to get right into the applications and the things that you care about most. One of our new apps in Windows 8.1 is really cool. Um, I, I showed you the news app a little bit earlier, and we've got things like sports and news as well. We added this food and drink app uh, for all you folks that are into eating and drinking, which I think is probably a lot of you. Um, <laughs> We, uh, we have this app now that allows you to create collections of recipes, follow top chefs, um, and we have curated kind of recipes from those chefs to give you kind of a jumping off point um, when you're looking for a great meal to cook for your friends, your family, or your girlfriend. Um, or uh, we also have a bunch of uh, wine notes as well if you're looking for like a bottle of wine to pair with that dinner in a really easy way. Um, but what's really cool is that you can either, you know, kind of have your own collection here and, and manage your collection um, through, through this application and the, and the recipes that we provide, but you can also add your own recipes. So let's say, you know, Grandma's Famous Meatballs, of course, might not be in the app to start, but if you wanted to add those in here, you could add, you know, add a picture, either take one or add an image file from somewhere else. You can add the ingredients, the steps, and the notes, and then, that, and then that recipe will just become part of the fabric of this application as well in your collection and behave like it was built in from the beginning, which is really cool. Um, but let's say we're going to go, let's go find a recipe here. I want to show you some cool stuff. So here's some, here's some suggestion recip suggested recipes. We'll try this corn salad here. Um, and you'll see here that, you know, this was pulled in from a uh, website called Food52. Um, you've got your ingredients list. Um, and also in the ways that you get it prepared. But let's say you wanted to add this to a shopping list. Now you've got the ability to say like, okay, I need some corn and the onions and olive oil, but I've got everything else. I'm gonna add these to my shopping list. Um, you'll see that it's been added to the shopping list. I'm gonna say view. And now you can see I've got my shopping list here prepared. And let's say I wanted to share this with my wife that was on the way home from work. Um, it's really easy just to share that right through an email. Uh, and then she knows to pick the stuff home, uh, pick the stuff up on the way home from, from work. Um, and then finally, one of the other really cool things too is that we've, um, we've also got a meal planner. So for folks that are looking to be really um, uh, purposeful when they go to the grocery store and buy things for the entire week to help save some money, um, you can actually plan out your meals for the whole week to make sure that you're taking full advantage of your trips to the store. And then one of my favorite ones too is this hands-free mode. Let's say you're cooking this um, you're cooking this meal and you've got egg or corn or whatever it is all over your hands. Um, you can actually, once this guy goes green here, you can navigate the recipe by just swiping your hand in front of the camera. And then that way you never actually have to put your hands on the device or on the keyboard and get it all gummed up. So it's little things like that we think that make Surface, like I said, perfect for taking you from either your work um, and then into the kitchen or from work and right into a game like Halo um, and start, uh, you know, kicking some Spartan butt on the couch at late at night. And then finally what I'll show you too is what makes this tablet um, very capable for both work and play is that you've also got your kind of traditional desk, your traditional desktop mode. So let's say we wanted to, um, you know, manage a, uh, if you plug the thumb drive in uh, or SD card, you still have access to things like your file folder um, and the file system on your machine so that you can go in and manipulate individual files and move them around between different folders and create new folders, again, which is very different from what you might find in a, in, um, in a competing tablet. Um, for those, you know, your files are kind of managed within the context of applications. Here, you still have the ability to download applications, but you still have the, the security and the foundation of Windows working underneath it so that you can manage resources in the right way uh, and really take advantage of this thing as something that can go from work to play really easily. So that's, uh, that's a quick view of, of Surface RT. Uh, go check it out, and uh, we think you'll be pretty stoked on it.